Have you been denied a U.S. visa and don't understand why? Have you been turned away from the U.S. border without an explanation? Maybe you've had a prior arrest or conviction and you're not clear on how to move forward at this point. Call our office, we may be able to help. 954-449-1833. Minister of State for the Public Service, the Honorable Pia Glover Roll, anticipates the final draft of the new industrial agreement for the Bahamas Public Services Union will be in the hands of its president, Kimsley Ferguson, before the week's out. Her comments follow last week's protests outside the House of Assembly, during which the union openly accused the government of union busting and also took issue with the government's decision to give salary increases to public servants without including the union in that negotiation. Glover Rowe confirming that the document is with the Ministry of Finance. That the agreement is signed before the end of this year. We would like to assign as many agreements as we originally said within this year and public service union would be the main one that I would like to sign being the Minister of State for the public service. So we remain hopeful that once the Bahamas Public Service Union gets the final agreement, hopefully by tomorrow, that it will be um, something that they are prepared to accept and that we can sign as soon as possible. Cloverall says the union and the government have the same goal of ensuring the best interest of employees. However, she questioned Ferguson's claims he was not involved in negotiations when she says he wrote to the Minister of Foreign Affairs indicating that the union was prepared to sign an agreement last week. Glover Roll says every union rightfully wants more money for its members, but based on the economy, the government has offered the best package it could, and the goal is to get packages to employees before Christmas. We have a, an abbreviated pay period in the month of December, which means that the pay cycle closes earlier. Other unions that would have signed had to wait four to six weeks to realize the benefits of their agreement. We, are, we feel that we're on a trajectory with the VPSU to sign and hopeful that we'll sign before the end of the year. So as a result, we would have engaged the Ministry of Public Service technical team and the Ministry of Finance technical team to begin the process that mirrors the, the agreement in terms of ensuring that the payroll cycle, if this agreement is signed, is met in time for the holidays so that our workers aren't disenfranchised.